Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another tutorial from PH Studios. This is from the Space Shooter tutorial series. And in this tutorial, we're going to make the enemy class. Since we already did the player and the bullet, we have one class left to do in our gameplay object, and that's the enemy class. Then, next tutorial, we'll discuss the how to modify them because there's some stuff left in the player that we have left to do some stuff left in the bullet that we have left to do and some stuff left in the ship that we have left to do and then we will have some stuff left in the enemy to do and we have all that stuff left to do is because we need every class available to do that stuff so let's right click the gameplay object folder and let's go to add class and let's change a class to capital enemy that CS and this is going to be a public class enemy and that's a derivative of ship okay now the enemy needs to hold its target where it's going to look at in the original game we have every enemy traveling to our player so it needs to hold our target in order to find out how to travel to that so that's a player object and let's call it target or you can call it player like I did in the sample just like the a player we need to control how much how often it can fire and I just call that fire time and again it's a time span and again we need a bull can fire is equal to false Alright, so now we have the public, we need the constructor, enemy, player, target. And again, we use this.target to refer to the field is equal to target. That just refers to the parameter. So this.target is equal to target. Now we need die time is equal to time span dot from seconds and that's going to be 0 0.35 just like the player. Fire time is equal to time span dot from seconds two seconds every two seconds our enemy will fire. Increase that for more difficult, decrease that for easier difficulty. Then we call initialize. Okay, so after the constructor, let's override the initialize. Public override initialize. Now we'll leave base.update, but we code above it. So now we set speed is equal to 1.2f divided by 60 F times 60 F there we go now why are we doing this if we look in our gameplay object inside of our update we update it by using the time so 60 in 60 seconds we want it to travel 1.2 pixels so we multiply it by 60 that way we can manipulate it this way and you can tell that from the other sample we used a method called from pixel per loop and then we pass it 1.2 in this tutorial we're just cutting that method out and we're doing things the normal way which is just multiply it by a standard amount by 60 okay so now let's go ahead in the initialize method after we need the speed we need to set bullet color is equal to color dot red and this if this is giving you trouble it's because it's referring to the property not the actual color structure or class we need to add using above here 
using Microsoft that XNA that framework that graphics all right now that should refer to the color dot red now just like the last few classes underneath everything else let's have a public static texture 2d let's call it enemy texture so let's say capital texture is equal to enemy texture. Now let's call base down initialize and that's it for the initialize method. Next let's do public override update. And let's get rid of all dots and let's add using Microsoft.xnet framework. Now we'll leave base down update but we code above it.